Hello, we wanted to uh, introduce you to some advanced functionality in our uh, mobile application Geo Mobile for ArcGIS Online. We've just released the application. It's uh, an app which allows you to uh, view and interact with your web maps that you've published to ArcGIS Online on a mobile device. It's the, the application is built in uh, Mobile Flex, so it allows you to um, to actually run it on a, an Android tablet like we've got here. Or, or iOS or indeed a playbook as well so uh, so it's a cross-platform solution um, the actual application we've just released uh, is basically an extension on what Esri have done with their widget um, we've just added a couple of extra tools but basically it does it does similar things to what the Esri widget does um, the framework we designed was was extensible so we wanted to make sure that we could actually add specific workflows for clients um, into the application um, you'll see if you've actually downloaded your mobile for ArcGIS online that we've actually got an advanced tools tab and in there we talk about advanced tools that we're building this discussion will be about um, offline app, uh, offline mode we're going to do another video on editing as well they're the two things that clients have asked us a lot about so we wanted to implement those solutions within this framework so this video is all about offline so you'll see here this is actually being pulled from ArcGIS online it's a it's a Beirut map um, it's got some points of interest which is the green and we've actually got a, a blue for the for the um, shoreline um, and we've also got some um, uh, recreation areas in there as well I believe actually we can check that let's see what they're, what they're called um, so we've got coastline we've got natural areas we've got points of interest and again this is the standard viewer that you get with the legend and things so uh, so that's that's the actual application itself just being pulled directly from ArcGIS online so this presumes Wi-Fi connectivity what about if we go offline and we still want to we still want to have access to ArcGIS online or we, or we want to be able to view ArcGIS online layers um, how do we do that so we've got a tools option here um, and we've added offline to this option to these tools here so you'll see a widget that just comes up here that says online data download and offline, offline loading so when you're online you will need to download um, the uh, tiles which make up the base of this map to be able to view them so you'll be need, need to download a tile package to actually which is a, which is a tile package of what you're looking at here so let's go ahead and do that. There's a, an option here to download. So that actually goes out to the web uh, and it grabs a TPK um, which uh, is called Beirut.tpk. So it's accessible on a, on, a, on a web server and you can see it's now in the corner here it's saying downloading. So it's actually grabbing that uh, TPK and uh, putting it locally on the device and you can now see it's loaded. So let's now um, do something slightly different. What we've done with it with the TPK is we've actually we've actually um, styled it slightly differently to this, so you can see the difference. You'll also see there's no base map, and there's a there's a licensing issue with base map data, so which uh, Esri would be able to tell you more about. But what we'll do with the application is let's just take it offline. Um, in this case, we haven't we're not going to include base map tiles, so let's go into airline mode which takes us into a offline mode and we'll go back and we will load the application again let's see what we've got now you can see the base maps disappeared you can also see that the stylings different what's happened there is the application has actually sensed that you've gone offline and it's directed the viewer at the local um, tiles of the TPK that's local, stored locally on the device so from a styling perspective you can see it's different data there is no base map there as, as well we wanted to make sure that you could see that it actually is a um, a different uh, it's different um, so we've uh, you can zoom in again you can see it's it's it's, a t it's fully tiled it's it's something that uh, um, you can zoom in and out of without any difficulties it, it isn't cache data um, I don't want me to zoom out there we go so so we've actually tried so we've actually gone from a, an online mode pulling data from ArcGIS online to an offline mode with a TPK which we generated using using the data we actually published to ArcGIS online and we just styled it differently so there is an example of offline access to your data the next video we'll do will show editing of this data in an offline mode thanks for watching